Big cities and small towns, whether you're young or old, man or a woman, we've all been faced with the nerve-wracking experience of walking down a dark alleyway, maybe to get to a better lit street. Your heart seems to skip a beat or two. All across this country, though, big steps are being taken to make sure this issue is being addressed. And in the biggest city of them all, they're lighting the path to safer neighborhoods, one project at a time. Even in the city that never sleeps, the sun still sets each night. And while in some parts, bright light isn't an issue, there are other places where it is. And for the New York City Housing Authority, which is responsible for providing safe, affordable housing to nearly half a million low and moderate income New Yorkers, this issue is very important. Providing a safe and clean environment is key that's lighting, that's closed circuit TV, that's locked doors, all of those things where families can nurture and children can grow and play. And the Polo Towers in Harlem is just one of NYCHA's 328 housing developments. But it was also one of the most in need of some upgrades to continue to carry out that mission. The Polo Grounds was an area that was selected by NYCHA as its first uh, lighting upgrade. Prior to the upgrade, it was a very poor, dim-lit area that, you know, wasn't conducive to safety. It's kind of old. It's been here since, I think, the early 60s, and it had the original lighting. Well, we came and dug around 11,000 feet of trench throughout the um, property, and we ran um, pipes and wires to put new site lighting. Uh, it was uh, putting up new panels inside the electrical rooms. It was uh, timers, uh, control panels, everything. We added 341 lights to the property. We put lights around all four buildings and the community center, and we put poles throughout the complex. It was challenging to work in an occupied environment of buildings and to have residents walking all around and driving their cars and moving from place to place. Although not that uncommon, these are still challenging conditions. Conditions, however, that the NECA IBEW team is more than prepared to handle. The most important thing I could say about the local three workers is this job was done safely. Nobody got hurt. None of the residents got hurt. All of our interactions with the residents were professional and pleasant. I have a lot of faith in what Local 3 does. But the bigger picture to look at with this project is not just the quality of the install, that certainly is important, but there's a human element to it all that cannot be ignored. If you spoke to any of the residents that were living here, before you walked through, you had areas where it wasn't as bright. It was the old style lights. So you had areas where someone could maybe hide in a corner. Or maybe if they're not hiding, you're walking, you're not quite sure, where am I going into? I mean, look, we all want to live in, in nice conditions and not, uh, you know, have to walk with flashlights to get around. And these are things that we can't, we can't overlook. We shouldn't overlook them. Now you walk around here, and I'm in the Bronx, it looks like Yankee Stadium. So it increased the safety, a sense of uh, safety for the residents. People can come and go as they please. Kids can stay out here to, to tonight and, and play on the playgrounds because it's well lit. It's been a fantastic job by the contractors that put these lights in. This job made me personally and Arcadia as a whole feel very good. We were here with a purpose and serving the community at large. The Pollock American team did a fantastic job. We have rave reviews for the work that they, they have done. The work has been completed here. There are other locations throughout the city where they are working, putting in new lighting, making it better. It really speaks to, we're not just large, the large contractors that do the signature jobs, but we do everything in between. Everyone is happy with the brightness, the illumination of their development, thanks to the Powell American team. As a result of the work completed, crime in the polo grounds is down more than 63% compared to the same period last year. And this project is just the beginning of a larger scale effort to deter crime and promote public safety across the city of New York. That's all for this edition. Be sure to check us out on Facebook and Twitter for behind the scenes extras and industry information. From the Big Apple, I'm Dominic Giratano. We'll see you next time.